Hello, today I'm making pasta again. This whole month I'm making pastas that are simple to use and very delicious to taste. So today I am going to make simple spaghetti. A spaghetti just with tomatoes and capers, olive oil and roasted garlic. Very simple very delicious. I have a boiling water. I'm gonna add a little bit of sea salt and begin cooking the spaghetti while we make the sauce. First I am going to go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil and I am going to be roasting garlic. Mm -mm -mm. The smell of garlic is unbelievable. I highly recommend it. And now I am going to go ahead, stir it a little bit, roast the garlic, then I'm going to be adding the tomatoes and the capers. A mm -mm -mm. little bit more of uh, olive oil. Very delicious. So we'll roast the garlic and in a few minutes we'll come back to add the tomatoes and the capers. Now that the garlic is roasted, I let the pan cool down a little bit and I'm going to be adding tomatoes. These are peeled San Marzano tomatoes and I have already cooked them and they're cut into pieces only with the tomato juice. So I'm going to be adding these tomatoes before we add our spaghetti. And I'm gonna be adding the capers. These are capote capers. Marinated, of course. Drain some of the water off. And I'm gonna be adding about, I will say, about half of this. These are four ounces, so I'm gonna be adding two ounces. Maybe put a little bit more. Capers are delicious, especially with fresh spaghetti pasta. I'm gonna cook this for about a minute or two, and then I'm gonna be adding the pasta that is almost ready. Mm -hmm. Look at how fast this cooks. It's almost ready. I want to cook it just a little bit off, but I'm going to turn the fire off, let it rest, then we're going to be adding it to our sauce with tomatoes, caper, roasted onions, and at the end we'll add a little bit of basil. The pasta is now ready. Mm -hmm -hmm. Now we're going to be adding it to the sauce. There's nothing like the smell of fresh pasta. A mm -hmm -hmm. little bit of a pasta water. Mm. This is going to be very delicious. I'm going to mix everything in. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 
Yes. Super delicious. I'm going to I'm going to cover it and let it rest for a little bit before we enjoy a spaghetti classico with tomatoes, San Marzano tomatoes, roasted garlic, and fresh basil. Our spaghetti classico is now ready. I have added fresh basil to the fresh San Marzano tomatoes, roasted garlic. And I'm gonna be adding a little bit of cheese. This is Parmesan Asiago in Romano. A little bit more of olive oil. Oh, oh, oh. Olive oil is the oil to the human heart. Sometimes we need to change it or put more. And I'm gonna be enjoying this delicious, simple, a spaghetti classico with Viaggiatore Nero Diavola Sicilian wine. Thank you for sending me the one, I appreciate it, and you know that I always enjoy wine. Any wine, but this is a very good one. So let's go ahead and taste our mangiare here. By the way, capers taste a little bit like olives, but they have a little lime flavor to it. I recommend them. Mmm. Just simple as spaghetti. Mm -hmm. This dish is a very light dish, easy to make and great to eat. <clears throat> Thank you for watching the videos and I will continue to make pasta during this month and other simple to do Italian dishes. Until the next time. Thank you. Salute.